merely moments ago, rocking Hyde Park. Jessie J, hello, good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you for inviting me to your party. It, well, it's fantastic for you to join us so quickly after. I, you, you, It's very cold out there. It's so cold, <laughs> I was tempted to go out with my, my hoodie and my jacket on, but I was like, no, I can do this. For so I just had to run up and down for the first song. And for the folk who were just listening, can you describe the outfit? Because I was trying to work out a way of doing it without sounding, um, uh, you know, old. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of like a leotard long sleeve with like sheer black panels with nu like a nudie coloured, tan coloured panelling. That's that. it. That's that, that. Sounds like I'm trying to be on a, on a fashion show. No, Clearly fine. I wouldn't be on a fashion show. It just sounded so much better coming from you. <laughs> now you were here and you were playing uh, last year and yes. you're here this year. Could you just compare and contrast the two? What um, it was warmer last year. Um, yeah, last year was like... I remember my my dress came undone. Um, I remember that. That was really embarrassing because my mum was like, next time maybe you should sew the zip. So now I That's always sew say. zips. So I learned that lesson. But last, you know what it's so nice about doing Radio 2 is that the crowd, it's a real challenge for me because I don't feel like everybody has heard my music before. So I feel like from last year to this year, I've seen the growth in, in people that have listened to my music now. Um, but also just still that winning over new people and gaining new fans. That's exactly yeah. what James Blunt said when he came in, but he said he yeah. had a fantastic time because precisely that. It's not yeah. just your hardcore, it's people who you have 100 to win 100%, that are people that are over. at the front to see the act two before you, three before you, after you. So that, that for me is my favorite thing about shows like this is because it really does challenge you as an artist. But you have a great relationship with your fans. They are the oh, hardcore, yes. They're in the, they are the ones who are in first. Oh yeah. They were the ones who were queuing from Royal Britannia I can imagine, last bless night, them, you know. they haven't been to the toilet for 12 hours. No, they don't want to, they don't want to lose their space, do they? No, I know. I, I dread to think what's what's going on at the front row. But how do you condense everything that you want to do? In, uh, how long are you on? 35 minutes, something like um, that? I just try and get my personality across. And I'm really open and honest on stage. Like, I missed my cue because I was walking backwards up the slide. Why is there a slide? I, I, I don't it's know. fun. I, I wanted I to like sit on my bum and just slide down, um, but I, I just feel like I try and give a set list that I feel like the audience will appreciate, um, and you know, I I really try and cater for the audience. I I try my best to just give them the best of what I think they want from me. And I think they respond because it, oh, yeah. it sounds as though you, you are very honest and very, very yeah. open and you're not only just asking them to hug people, but also yeah. you're very personal yourself. Well, maybe the people have like met the person they're going to marry tonight. Do you think? You never know, well, you, honestly, you never know. You did ask them to snog each other. Yeah. Why not? So it could have been... If someone says to you, you can snog right now and it's okay, then you're going to want to snog. It, I... It's like not if someone said it does us. Some, it does some. It, it does sometimes take more than the permission of the artist on stage for you to kiss the person who's next to you. That you don't know. Some, yeah, you don't know. Else. I always say, make sure you, you know, you touch someone you know appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't be in charge and control of everyone's actions. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, you could see, and you could <laughs> see people, and when you did the Aerosmith song. Yeah. Uh, that was. That's know. one of my favourite parts. You know, I, I feel very honoured as an artist to sing songs like that, and I I love that moment where I look round and I just see people really loving the person they're with or someone they they've never met that they're trying to love. Um, but it's a great moment to to have that on stage. To be able to create that is great. And of all the acts who who played it today, you were the sort of the most philosophical, or because you were Thanks. talking about the importance of living a good life and all that kind of stuff. Hundred percent. Why? Why do you? Why do you? Say I that? feel like as I've got older, I kind of hit twenty-five and realised that this life isn't just about singing anymore. I carry a responsibility, and I feel like I can't live my life life for everyone else. But I'm very aware that there's a light on me, and that many young people are looking up to me. So I, I, I live on the edge, but respectfully, and understand that. I have to play a part of knowing that what I do, some kids will copy. So I just try and, yeah, my mum and dad are very, very much like that, and my dad especially, and I just feel like that's how I was brought up, and I just, I don't know, sometimes I just have those moments on stage where I want to share a story or a moment of, of something that's gone through my mind in the day. And today was a day where I was like, wow, I've really left the negativity behind, and that's where it should stay, and I wanted to, to tell. Tell the crowd. Well, I felt like I had to put on an American accent there. And they and they responded as as you could tell and yeah. uh, uh, and as we could hear. What about the the new album, Jesse? What are we? 
Oh, it's exciting. On? It's you exciting. Made, you mentioned the, the new single, but that's... Yeah, that's I mean, I'm not someone... I find it really awkward when you're like, this is my new album and all... Um, I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Um, but it is out in two weeks today. It's called Alive. Um, it's very honest. It's very mature. Uh, I wrote the first album when I was 18 and I'm nearly 26. So naturally, there's going to be a big growth in vocal ability. I've pushed myself and made sure that I've got better as an artist as well as, you know, a writer and... I feel like the songs that the people, like everybody's heard, you know, Wild, It's My Party, Excuse My Rude, um, aren't everything the album is. There's, there's actually a lot more soul. There's 80s, 90s influence. Um, there's a song with just piano and keys, like ballads. So I'm excited. It's very anthemic. And it's very positive, as always. I try and be as positive as I can. Yeah, and is there, is there a big song? You know, if you're here this time next year, will, will, there be, will you be able to say, oh, actually, I can drop Aerosmith because I can include this new song? Uh, yeah. What's that one? There's a song called Gold, which I love. And it's a lot of my stuff, I made sure this album, because I, I think people know that I want the audience to be very much feeling like they're on stage with me, not literally, that would be crazy. But um, I like to make sure that I write music that the audience can participate. So there's a lot of, come on, sing it. And that song really embodies that. So I'm excited. I'm using my hand a lot, even though we're on the radio. Yeah, but people can watch online as yeah, well. Yeah, so, so I'm just doing this a lot, and I don't know why. You're going to miss Tom? Oh, I miss Tom already. Well, this time last year you were here with Tom. And I know. I, I, honestly, he's one of the most caring, genuine friends that I've made in this industry since day one. Like, I, I, I get so, uh, what's the word, protective of him. I really do. Like, I feel like I made a real good friend and he's such a legend to this industry and to the, to the music and how it's evolved in the UK. And... For someone that's you know been doing this for so long and seen the change in music, to sit next to him for the, for two series, I've learned I learned so much from him. He was my coach on the sly. I well, was in his team. Yeah, and, uh, and and we'll miss the two of you together. But Jesse, we appreciate you speaking to us so Thank soon you. after coming off stage. That's all right. Smokey Robinson on very Can't shortly. Wait. Catalogue of hits that we yes. that he can choose from. Jesse J, thank, thank you very you. much indeed.